this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today, in this video, I am going to be joined by Alpha Lee X. I always neglect your X at the end, don't I? I never say your X. I'm joined by Alpha Lee. <laughs> How are you doing today, Lee? Are you doing good? Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you ready for the fun we're about to have? You better be. Oh, look at him. He's hovering. He's hovering in excitement. <laughs> he can barely keep his feet on the ground. That's how excited he is. And I'm the same, to be honest, because I know what is coming next. This is the way it starts. I start in the corner. I go on the balcony. I speak in a weird voice. I come back in. Lee jumps up and down. And then... Cake time! Nom 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 nom. Ah, what a delightful breakfast. <laughs> anyway, there's a new tradition as well. Well, it's not a permanent tradition, but in the last video, if you saw it, we came up with a challenge to try and end a pearl from here and land in the, uh, the driver's seat of my F1 race car. And last time, Lee did very well. I did all right, and Amy didn't do. Uh, she didn't do too grand herself, but <laughs> uh, oh dear, it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have another. Go. Oh, no, Lee, don't go yet. Don't go yet, Lee, because I don't have any ender pearls. Do you have any spare ender pearls? I only had one left, and uh, I wasted it. Whoa! Where's he getting these from? There you go. Free ender pearls. I'm only gonna have one attempt though. Right, you go first, Lee, and wherever you land, don't move, and uh, you could use your yourself as a marker. And I'm going to see if I get closer. Ooh, is that a bit short? Oh, no, that looks good. Oh, that looks oh, no, it is. It's very slightly short. You're still pretty close, though. You're probably still only about three blocks away. I can see what he was doing, because last time we both went way too far. And so he tried to go not at all as far. And right, let's go about here. I think that looks quite good. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Is that a bit short? Oh, no, that looks good. Oh, 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 look at that. I was right by on the wheel. Oh, that, I think that's uh, the closest. Yeah, I'm trying to land right here. <laughs> I think I won this round, Lee. We'll have another game uh, tomorrow and uh, we'll see if we can get closer. Anyway, let's go and see if I can land on the uh, on that love heart. I actually got really close last video of that as well. Let's see if I can get on it probably about here. I think that, that does look quite good. Oh, Lee's going as well. Oh, Lee did it. Lee landed on the love heart. Can I do it? No, I landed pretty much in the exact same place I did last video. <laughs> well done, Lee. I won the race car. You won the love garden challenge. And it's quite convenient that we're here right, because I am just about uh, to add someone to the love garden. And today I am adding little lides. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that's because they have drawn me absolutely loads of pictures. And uh, you can see some of them popping up in your screen now. This is only a sample of them. They've honestly done so many. And uh, my favourite is uh, these ones, uh, which is like a uh, comic strip uh, from the adventure map that me and Squid did uh, called the Omega Colony. And uh, they did like loads of different pictures uh, for the Omega Colony, as well as all of these amazing ones as well. And uh, yeah, as I said, this isn't all of them. Uh, if you don't want to see all of them. Uh, I'll leave us a link in the description. My Facebook page where I've shared them all on there uh, as well as their Twitter page if you want to go and follow them on Twitter. So thank you little lights and welcome to my love garden. Uh, anyway let's go and uh, let's go and get to business shall we? Shall I walk a new route to the uh, the doghouse? I always go the same way. Let's go down this way. I love the uh, I love the, uh, the, little, the thing I love about my house is that there's so many routes to get from everywhere. There's so many different doorways and staircases and ladders to get everywhere. There we go. There's a good example. I have no idea how Lee got here but he managed to get here a different route. <laughs> and here are all of my dogs. And you may remember in the last video, uh, if you saw it, I do have a new dog which I called Corey. And here's Corey. And you can tell it's Corey because Corey's the curious one. You see, as soon as I walked over, he went and looked right at me. That's because he's a really curious dog. And I tamed him in my last video and I was so happy. And so, yeah, this is going to be my first video where I'm going to be accompanied by Corey. And there he is running after me behind me. And wait, everyone, stop, stop, Lee, stop. Wait a minute. Something's wrong. Can you tell what's wrong? Do any of you see what's wrong? Do you have any idea, Lee? Do you know what's wrong? Have you spotted it yet? <laughs> no, I don't think Lee has a clue. <laughs> Look at me, Lee. Look at me. What's missing? What am I not wearing? <gasps> I've got no boots on. Oh, I'm not dressing stampy style. My boots must have broken the last video. <gasps> oh, no. I need to get new boots. No worries. No worries. Let's have a quick shopping trip. Quick, you run to the shop, Lee, and you get behind the counter, and I'm going to go and buy myself a, a new outfit. I'm going to go stampy style. <laughs> if you don't know, I normally always got my, my nice silver boots on, but... I must have lost them, they must have broke. Actually, my favourite boots I actually lent to Ank uh, on Christmas Day, you might remember, and he's yet to return them. 
I think he might have lost them. So uh, I had to get some replacements that weren't very good. Anyway, uh, let's go down to the Stampy Star Shop. So yeah, this is what I want. I think this will look good. I want the boots and the rose. Let me try and find the, the right chest. No, that is the uh, the pumpkin munchkin. Here we go. Here's the, the Stampy style chest. So, right, I want one rose, please, Lee. And I also want some more. Just put them on already. So do you mind if I try them on, Lee? Let me just go up back and let me uh, try on my boots just to, to see if they're going to fit me. Uh, I think they I think they looked pretty good. There we go. They're just my size. I can't even really see. There we go. <laughs> they fit absolutely perfectly. Is it okay if I just leave them on, Lee? Is it okay if I can just wear them out of here? Um, oh, he's paying me. He, are you giving me money so I can give it straight back to you? There we go. Let's play shops. There we go. There's your money. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Anyway, let's go get some work done, shall we? I can hear a whole load of googlies around here. Are they in here? Are they in the, the pet shop? I oh, know. It seems like they're they're fresh out of googly goods at the moment. Let's let's leave here, uh, leave here before they uh, before they return. And uh, what we're doing in this video uh, is basically, hopefully, uh, finishing what we were building in the last video, which is my new game called Flop. And uh, Flop stands for uh, Flick and Drop. And uh, the uh, the aim of the game uh, is to use a fishing rod and you flick it uh, from one side of the game to the other. And you've got to try and make it land on uh, pressure plates. And uh, if it lands on pressure plates, uh, some pistons extend and uh, push the other player down. And we built the entire thing inside of a colourful castle, which is just around this corner. Ta-da! This is what we built in the last video. We made some pretty good progress because we built all of this. Then we tried to play the Roadhog game. Then we went and played the, uh, the Ugly Duckling game. We got quite a lot done in the last video. And so hopefully... Uh, all we need to do now is just go and get it completely done. Do you remember it, Corey? Do you remember this place? Look, he's being very curious. He's going and having a look at it again. <laughs> this is this is exactly where I tamed Corey. Well, it was just down there. Uh, but yeah, he came in and he was very curious about what we were building. And so yeah, all I need to do now uh, is go and uh, go and finish it off. So I might go and do uh, this bit here uh, before I go and do the redstone. Looks like Lee's going to be adding in the... Uh, do you want to add the ladders in? Uh, there's going to be some ladders leading up to these doorways, uh, which means that if you fall down, that's how you get back up. Uh, but while he's doing that, I'm going to add the stripes you see what he's done on that side uh, so there's those colorful stripes that's marking where you need to fling and be careful i know you're being very curious i know it's in your <laughs> it's in your nature cory but be, be careful you don't want to end up falling down here so all i'm going to do is i go and add uh, these stripes along here and then i'm going to go downstairs and i'm going to go and do some of the other uh, redstone and don't worry don't start panicking by the way i know as soon as i say redstone a load of you shudder or roll your eyes or start panicking <laughs> it's very very easy redstone i promise you uh, if any of you do have minecraft and uh, wanted to build this game i promise you you could because i'm going to build it on this side and uh, explain how it's done and then i'm going to build it again on the other side just to just to reinforce it if you want to remember something uh, the best thing to do is uh, repeat it so uh, yeah there's going to be no chance that none of you are going to be able to to not do the redstone honestly it is super super easy so let me stop telling you about how easy it is and let me just go and actually do it so there's going to be pistons extending out from here and so if I just get rid of all of these, I might as well just use my shovel because I think it's actually better than my shears. If I get rid of these places here, uh, this is where the pistons are going to be. And so if I just do them, they need to be along... Uh, I think it's going to be this row here. So then I can put the, the wall on the, the front of them. And so if I just go and do a, a bit more dirt along here so I can just stand on it, I can go and do some, some pistons on that side as well. And so these are going to get pushed out and uh, they're going to extend the uh, the blocks, uh, which will then push the uh, the people down into this little pit. But it's only a very small fall, so it's not going to hurt you. As if I go and do one there, one there, one there, and the final one there. And then I do, all I need to do is go and fill this uh, wall back in. So uh, it needs just to be blue there and then red there. And I do have some more red wool. There we go. I've got a whole stack of red wool here. And do you like it, Corey? <laughs> He's been so... Everything I do, he just goes and look at it. Normally, dogs just sort of, like, wander around randomly in the background. But wherever I go, Corey's right there sticking his nose into it, saying, well, what are you doing, Stampy? What are you doing, Stampy? What's this? What's that for? <laughs> if you excuse me for one second, Corey, I don't want to hit you on the uh, the end of your snout. And uh, I can go down here and uh, start doing the redstone. And while I'm doing that, it looks like Lee has started doing the, the middle. So you just start at head height, Lee, where they stand. There's going to be one row of glass, and then the rest is just going to be black wool uh, all around the outside. So what I need to do is I'm going to be very careful because it is dark in here and I'm scared there's going to be some googlies. No, we're all good. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start placing in uh, some of the redstone. And here's Corey already running in just to investigate what I'm doing. I love it. <laughs> right, so let me go and first things first, put down some torches just so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, let's go and do the, uh, the redstone. So if I do just a platform... Uh, along here, I'm just going to go and use a red wall, seeing as this is the red side. And so basically all you need to do is think that there's going to be two pressure plates here and here. 
and you just need to make it so that if the um if those pressure plates were pushed down it's going to extend three pistons and i might actually have to need to, to destroy a little bit more up here uh, just so I can see what I'm doing and uh, I don't have to worry about filling this all back in now we can leave it uh, open for now I kind of like showing my workings as well you know at school when you're told to show your workings <laughs> that's what I'm doing now with my redstone and so the first bit's easy all you need to do is do a big row of repeaters the whole way along here and then oh I think I need to build this up a bit here will make it a bit easier yes yeah, so you do one row of repeaters and all that is going to do is make sure that the uh, the redstone actually goes to the uh, the pistons and then I'm going to go and fill in the next row along here and uh, this one's a little bit more complicated but it's still pretty simple the only problem with the redstone is making it so that uh, because it's all so close together making sure that if someone pushes down uh, one of the uh, pressure plates it's not going to do all of them and I accidentally did a repeater there and so all you need to do is there and uh, there add these repeaters which kind of blocks this one off uh, so that one there is kind of separate and so if I go and place redstone there and then go and do some nope do do that and do some redstone there and some redstone there and that's it that is literally that is as difficult as it gets I've done it I've done the redstone so if there's two pressure plates there uh, there and there when they're pushed down that would go and extend the pistons and that is honestly all it is that is all it is so all I'm going to do is hop up here uh, up the other uh, ladders that Lee built and uh, put down some pressure plates and we can see hopefully it's working I'm here saying about how simple it is if I go and do it and it doesn't work now I'm going to burst into tears <laughs> right so if I go and just make a I might as well make six pressure plates because uh, that's how many I'm going to need in total there we go I've got six pressure plates and uh, if I go and plonk these down here and uh, that's why the stripes are here just to, to mark where they are and hopefully if I just go and throw something down on there uh, there we go oh no I pushed Corey down I knocked Corey down oh no no it hasn't worked right one of the pistons hasn't extended right let me go and try this one then I'm gonna have a look downstairs and see why it hasn't worked right that one has worked and whoa Lee just hit a skeleton at me <laughs> where did he come from <laughs> let's go try these ones out should I try and knock the uh, knock the skeleton down if I go and do that then step again I might knock him down right this one hasn't worked either for some reason I think I might have done it wrong let me go and have another look down here and to uh, see why why it's not worked. I'm sure I just haven't uh, linked something up right. Um, oh, I know why it hasn't worked. I need to do some redstone there. There we go. Now that's done all three. And then the same on this side, like that. And then there we go. Hopefully it's all going to work properly. And <laughs> there's a spider trying to trying to climb up the colourful castle. <laughs> there's a curious spider as well as a curious dog. So hopefully if I throw this down here, all three are going to extend. There we go. That That is it. That is exactly just how it's going to be. And Lee's done an amazing job uh, building the, uh, the middle. Uh, so all I need to do now is go to the other side and do the uh, the redstone again, which will take all of five seconds. And then me and Lee uh, are going to have a, a first little tester game. Uh, so yeah, do you want to help me with the uh, the redstone, Lee? Uh, you can give me a, a helping hand. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, if you want to go and have a look at the other side, Lee, if you can't remember uh, how it's done, and then all we need to do is uh, go and uh, copy that, and it should be easy peasy. I need to put the uh, the pistons in first, which is probably uh, the thing that takes the most time. But it's not gonna it's not gonna take too long. I could actually place down here some platforms, and then that way I can just place the uh, the pistons on them as uh, so if I go and just fill all of this in right this is going to be where we have to to place all the redstones and then I'm going to have to go and place the uh, the pistons on the other side uh, just so that way they're going to be uh, facing in the uh, in the the right direction so if I do that and then go and hop over to the the other side I can go and start putting them in and uh, <laughs> it's getting a bit more cramped in here now now it's all kind of blocked off <laughs> what you could do Lee if you want is you could do the other doorway on this side and maybe the other ladders uh, there's going to be a doorway on uh, either side so that way you can get in uh, whatever side you you fall down on you can get straight back up quickly because once you fall down and you go back up here the other person's going to still be ready so it's going to be very dangerous the first time you drop down to make sure you don't get immediately knocked down again because that'd be uh, really rubbish for you anyway let's go to put down the pistons then i think this is a, a much easier way of doing it and Corey, i know you're very curious but please just give me a little bit of room boy <laughs> he's not used to it around here this is all new and exciting to him this is his first ever video being with me and look how excited he is jumping around the place he's now gone to investigate to go and see what lee's doing <laughs> oh i love it i love the uh, the enthusiasm <laughs> i think a lot of the other dogs have got a bit bored of me to be honest it was all very exciting when they first saw me it's all kind of old news now and i know i've ran out of a uh, blue wall there's one more block we need to put down there and hello cory cory's come out look at him jumping up the little stairs <laughs> if you got one more piece of blue wooly uh, there's a uh, one gap you're probably going to see where you could go and uh, fill that up anyway let's go and uh, let's go and get this uh, last bit of redstone done i'm going to get rid of this uh, just to give myself a, a little bit more headroom uh, then i can hop up and place it down and then we can go and have the uh, the first game right if i go and jump up here i guess 
and uh, fill this in along here uh, just so I can uh, see what I'm doing. And uh, then, yeah, all I need to do is uh, try and repeat it. And uh, huh? no pun intended, I'm about to play some repeaters. Right, can you remember how to do it? This is a test for you. Can you remember? Right, so it's a big row of repeaters first. And this just makes sure all of the uh, the redstone goes uh, straight into the pistons. And oh, Lee! <laughs> Lee knocked into me. Oh, no, it wasn't Lee. It was a zombie. Oh, no, there's a zombie. Get him, Corey. Corey, get him. Jump up. Oh, I think he was a little bit scared. He's still quite young. He's still not used to fighting the googlies. <laughs> right, so it's repeaters the uh, the whole way along here. And uh, then there's going to be a repeater there and a uh, repeater there. And then if I go and fill all of this in here, then all we need to do is place the, uh, the last few bits of redstone and we are done. So uh, on this one, there's going to be redstone like that and then there. And this one, it's going to be like that. And then just the same on the other side over there. Excuse me, Corey. And this is it. Right, I'm just going to very quickly go and have a quick test uh, just to make sure this is working properly. And if I go and fill in that last block, I oh, know it looks like Lee's done it as well. OK, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go upstairs quickly and just make sure it's all working. And then we can play. Then we can have the uh, the first tester game of Flop. <laughs> I like the name. Oh, the pressure plates. The pressure plates would be an important thing to paste down. Oh, where are they? I'm sure I made six of them. Oh, no, I need more. I need six per each side, don't I? Not six total. All right, if I go and make uh, six more pressure plates. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, I'm going to get rid of this uh, crafting table in the way because that's going to be uh, getting in the way. And uh, if I place down one, two, one, two one two and then let me just throw anything down just to test right we got three poking out there we have three poking out there and the last one there we go the game completely works this is it we have now completely finished the flop game inside of the colorful castle i like the look of it as well now it's all completely finished i i, I do like the uh, i do like the uh, the style of it are you ready then lee do you want to have our, our first test of games do you have any uh, fishing rods on you lee that's uh, one thing that we uh, might be missing uh, if not we can go over to the uh, the ugly duckling and pick some up. oh there we go we got one here have you got one as well lee there we go we both got one all right so for the first little test of game shall we say we've got we got five lives each you're allowed to drop down five times and once you're out of lives then you lose there's a, a cake for courage before we get going <laughs> all right just ate some bread oh maybe i can have some a little bit later anyway what side do you want to go pick a side lee and i'm going to go on the the other side lee wants to go blue uh me and Corey are going to go on the uh, the red side i guess then <laughs> right let me just go and get rid of this crafting table so nothing's going to get in his way Okay, let's be uh, begin the first tester game in three, two, one, go, go, go. And I'm dropping down. So all I need to do is, oh, God, he's got one already. I need to move left and right and try and dodge. God, Lee's come out flinging. Oh, I nearly got him there. I nearly managed to get him there. All right, let's go and try him. He's got right on the end over here. Can I push him down? Oh, no, I think I'm missing all of the, uh, the pressure plates. There we go. I managed to knock him down. That's one life gone from Lee. So I got five lives remaining and Lee has got four. But the game has still only just begun. It could go either way. And see if I can get him as soon as he drops down. Oh, no. If that had extended, oh no, he got me down. We are one life down each. And hello, Corey. <laughs> Corey's there looking after the cakes and guiding them to make sure no googlies come and try and eat them. <laughs> Zombies traditionally eat brains, but they also uh, do like some Victoria sponges. Anyway, let's go back down and carry on the game. Oh, I saw that, Lee. Lee tried to get me straight away, but I did it right back at him and managed to get him down straight away. Right, let's line it up. If you line it up on the line, I think that's a good place to aim. Lee's there taking out googlies as we play. <laughs> right, let's go and try and get him go for the middle one. Oh, he just about managed to dodge it. You remember, Lee, you're not allowed to jump. You can't dodge that way. There we go. He got down again. So I've knocked him down. Was that three times, is it? I think that's three times he's gone. Now, I think he's got two lives left and I've got four lives left. Okay, come on. You need to shape it up, Lee. Come on. This is the first ever game. Come on. You need to show everyone what you've got. Show them bear power. <laughs> it's difficult if you try and go diagonal. It's really hard to hit them. Let me try and line up. Go in the middle. Oh, he just about managed to dodge that. No, he got me down. I got three lives left and he's got two lives left. Oh, this is getting close. This is getting exciting. <laughs> this isn't a proper tournament. This is just a test to go, but it's still exciting. And oh no, look Looks like that one stayed down. Um, oh, there we go. I think someone might have been just standing on it or something. Okay, no worries. Carry on. Right, go, go, go. I want to get out of the way. Oh, I saw what you were doing there, Lee. Lee tried to get me down immediately. There we go. I managed to get him down. He has now only got one life left. If I get him to fall down again now, I am going to win the first ever game of Flop. What a privilege. What a privilege. The nights I've spent dreaming about winning the first ever game of Flop. <laughs> You're setting your own pistons off there, Lee. Right, he's gone back down. Can I get him off the middle? Oh, no, I managed to miss it. Oh, go to that side. Try and go for a diagonal one. Oh, did I get him? Yes, I did it. I did it. I won the first game of Flop. <laughs> oh, good game, Lee. Good game. Oh, that's so much fun. That is even... Even more fun than I expected it was going to be. And we can have tournaments of it. We can have 2v2 games. We can have a dog game of it where you can have a go, Corey, if you want. Would you like that, boy? Would you like that? <laughs> He's just looking around. He's just curious about everything in the world. Look at him just going off to explore. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear, that's that's the end of the video then. And uh, that is the uh, the game completely done. So as I said, uh, in the uh, the next video, uh, we're going to come back here and we're going to have a, a tournament with a few of us uh, to see who is going to be the flop champion, the prestigious award of becoming the flop champion. But that's the end of this video here. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!